welcome to the Classic Fight Night. This is the first of the series and also to the introduction of a new partnership here between the Venerable Harry Carpenter and I, who have been around the ringsides as friends and rivals for many years now. And we've also seen a lot of flicks, haven't we? But uh, I'd like to deny at this point that we've ever held hands in the cinema. Yes, and it's not going to be here either. Um, we do have some great fights lined up. Yes, we've been digging into the boxing archives and we've come up with some real gems, some of the greatest fights and certainly some of the greatest fighters this century. From way back in the black and white days, there's the infamous battle between Jack Johnson and Jim Jeffries. Jack Dempsey's controversial long count fight with Gene Tunney. And the Welshman Tony Farr's brave attempt to take the world title from the great Joe Lee. We've also got another Brit, Randolph Turpin, in the amazing night who took the title from Sugar Ray Robinson, as well as two of the roughest, toughest fights in history, the middleweight wars between Rocky Graziano and Tony Zahn and Marshall Sedan. Back up to date, what colour anyway, we have Muhammad Ali's 1972 fight with ex-champ Floyd Patterson. The fabulous Rumble in the Jungle with George Foreman and the Thriller in Manila with Joe Fraser. Quite a collection and we're going to start with the greatest, Muhammad Ali. It's on the comeback trail actually for Ali. He'd lost on points to Joe Frazier uh, for the World Championship and now he's working his way back. He had several wins there, Ellis, Buster Mathis, George Chevalo, and now he's up against the next champion who at the time was the youngest heavyweight champion, Floyd Patterson. At 37, he was going to have a go at Madison Square Garden, September 1972. But I'll tell you what, Ali had other things on his mind when they were ready for the off, Harry. Well, this is Muhammad Ali hamming it up, as usual, pretending to want to get at somebody in the ring. Now, it's not his opponent, Floyd Patterson, who was allegedly trying to get at, but his old rival, who suddenly appeared in the ring, Joe Frazier, the man who beat him in this ring the year before. And Joe was a very popular figure in Madison Square Garden, Rich. Oh, absolutely. There's no love lost with Frazier against Ali. Ali didn't care. He was acting. But Frazier meant it sometimes with him. But he's looking very affable there, isn't he? I sometimes felt that uh, he was a little bit out of his depth with Ali in this sort of thing. Joe was always a bit embarrassed about the yeah, height. Uh, oh, absolutely. But he, he's enjoying it, though, the show. They should all get equity cards, the whole of that Ali crew, really, shouldn't they? <laughs> Look at him, look. He's got that lovely laugh about him. He's oh. not serious. Well, you're right, Reg. I mean, everybody in that sequence, which I've seen, was acting. And it was very clever, because what the publicity boys are doing, Ali and Frazier have had that great fight the year before in Madison Square Garden, and now they're preparing the second fight between them. OK, 17,000 at the Mecca of Madison Square Garden, and we're ready for round one. The commentator, American Howard Cassell. The bell for round one. Ali in the white shoes, Patterson in the black shoes. The two fighters dancing, Patterson in the old familiar peekaboo style. In his early years, it was effective. In his later years, it was ineffective. Nobody ever hit a man harder than Patterson hit Ingemayo Hudson in the fifth round on June 20, 1960, in the old polo grounds. A left hook that caused Ingemar to lie there prostrate, blood coming out of the mouth from the capillary vessels, the right leg twitching. Remember the scene. But that was Patterson many years ago. Ali trying to get the left in there. Patterson caught that quick left on his gloves. That left got to Patterson's head. We've got less than a minute and a half left in round one. The two fighters dancing, the crowd saying, come on, fight. Ali with a nearly 30 pound weight edge, 29 and a half pounds to be exact. One minute left in round one. Sparse action. Crowd yelled as Patterson threw a left that Ali calmly picked off on his right glove. Patterson leading with the left. 30 seconds left in round one. And Ali doing nothing in this round. 
Nothing whatsoever. Patterson at least throwing some punches. We're close to the end of round one. The second's ticking out. And one has to wonder what Ali's purpose is. The end of round one. Richie, that was a very interesting first round. If you remember, yeah. you and I were in Vegas in 65, seven years before this, when they had their first fight, Ali and Patterson. Yeah. And if you remember again, Ali taunted Patterson before the fight and called him the rabbit. And I have to say, Patterson fought a little bit like a rabbit in that fight and was never in it, was he? Yeah. In this one, he's opened up rather aggressively and looks good. Well, round two was similar to round one, so we rejoin it now at round three. What's going on, Angie? Just two feel out rounds, and he's picking his guys apart and seeing what the guy's going to do. He's seeing the guy's combination under and over, and he's going to, he's going to pick him apart with those combinations of his own. Less than a minute and a half to go in the third round. Patterson trying to force the action. Patterson with the crowd behind him. Patterson risking the Ali left. One minute to go in round three. Angie Dundee has a mic. There he goes. Here he goes. Come on. That's it. That's it. Go. Go. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Only 20 seconds to go now in round three. You see those punches of Floyd's do not get in. They're blocked by Ollie's arms and gloves, though they excite the crowd that's at a distance from the ring. The end of round three. For the start of round four, Floyd Patterson, the only man ever to have recaptured the heavyweight title. You remember the three bout series with Ingemayo Hudson? All Ali is doing here is getting the crowd more and more with Patterson. What is Ali trying to do there? Why all the tricks in the games? Well, you're just watching artistry, Howard, and you can't appreciate it. That's a cop out, Angie, if I ever heard one, and Dundee grins. He's not happy with what's happening. We've got a minute and 30 seconds left in the fourth round. See the way Ali puts the left in when he wants. See that? Now Ali has a bandage loose as happened in the quarry fight. McCanny, Arthur McCanny, the referee, will be watching that bandage to see if it's in the way or doing any damage. Ali is re scoring repeatedly with jabs now. The crowd yelling, but Patterson only hitting Ali's gloves. There's McCanny taking off the bandage. We've got 35 seconds left in round four. And this round is almost over. Floyd did connect there and the crowd loves it. The end of round four. Reg, I think people sitting at home are going to be surprised at how well Patterson is doing. Look at this series of punches. They've all gone through to the head. If Ali didn't have the sort of chin he had, he'd be in real trouble. 
fast hands, isn't he, Patterson, really? And it's interesting, you see, the judges at this point have got him well ahead. I mean, the judges have given Patterson most of the early rounds. Yeah, but he's, he's throwing a lot of leather. I mean, I don't know what to think about Ali. I, I think he's surprised that Patterson is coming at him as much as he is, because he certainly didn't do it in the first fight. Well, that's right. Uh, yeah. I don't know. He's I not larking around. He's not carrying him, by the way. People often get a misapprehension. <laughs> you know, that's, they, they shouldn't do that. I, I'm impressed with Patterson. Uh, I don't yeah. know how it's going to go. One of his better fights, there's no doubt Exactly. Well, certainly the crowd are now behind him. They would be at Madison Square. He's more or less the local boy. And they're wondering if he can pull it off. We'll find out right after the break. Welcome back to our classic fight night. We're at Madison Square Garden, 1972, two of the biggest names, Muhammad Ali and Floyd Patterson. Patterson's going well here, Harry. I think it's a question of pride with him. He was humiliated seven years before by Ali. Now, he's seen Frazier beat Ali the year before, and he must think to himself, maybe I've got a chance, even at 37. One last big fling. But I tell you what, Ali needs to sharpen his act up. Yeah, the judges have got Patterson ahead. As you say, he's got to go for it now. So we'll return to the action in round five. Madison back with an attempted left. See, those blows connect. Not because Ali threw them, but because they connected. That right of Patterson. Patterson connected again. Patterson is really up for this fight. We're a minute into round five. Patterson quick to take advantage of Ali there. And now it's no fluke. Patterson's making a good fight of this fight. If Ali's been playing around, he's in a position to be sorry. He seems listless. He hasn't used the ring. He has not been using his combinations effectively. And Patterson is absolutely unafraid. Of him. And Patterson is a man 37 going on 38, 30 pounds lighter. So give Floyd credit. One of the most popular men, I think, in the whole history of American sport, Floyd Patterson. The end of the fifth round. Look at this action from Patterson again. Whacking Ali on the chin. We both thought when Ali came out for this uh, round that he was a different man. He looked sharper suddenly. But now it's Patterson in control once again. Now we come to round six. White shoes, Floyd Patterson, the black. Ali was hurt. Uh, I mean, Patterson was hurt. Patterson was hurt right at the start of round six. He broke his head. He was ready to go down. A quick left hit. Now Ali wants to punish him. You see it? They are right above us. Ali is after him. Now let's see if Floyd can get away. Floyd is fighting gamely. Patterson's left eye is swollen. Patterson is in trouble. His left eye is closing fast. He's swinging wildly with his own left, but missed. Coming after Ali gamely. This crowd belongs to Floyd Patterson. His left eye is red. It is fiery red, but he is dead game. He is cut. Ali, for that brief first 40 seconds of this, the sixth round, his face tightened up. There showed a trace of absolute grimness about it, and he went out. Now Bundini is saying, don't stop, champ. Patterson was hurt again. 
Paul Patterson's left eye is bleeding. The inside corner, just above it, can cause, when it's in that position, can cause the flow of blood to go into the eye and cause, of course, trouble sight at the very least. Floyd trying with a right lead. Ali in control, being careful, however. Little more than a minute left in the sixth round. That upper lid, I agree with what Dr. Ferdy Pacheco just said, the upper lid of Patterson's left eye, causing the blood to flow into the eye. Doctors will have to take a look at that. The crowd yelled as Floyd got in a right, fighting desperately. Courageous. Oh, a right uppercut by Ali. Oh, he's punishing him now. Mercani is watching this closely. Floyd, who's gone down so many times, refuses to go down before Ali. Floyd Patterson has not gone down. And he's been the most knockdown champion in history. Target practice by Ali is not connecting. He missed a lot of blows. He is not sharp, although he is punishing Patterson terribly in this round. The end of round six. Well, this is a terrible blow here for Patterson. I mean, he's really handicapped now, isn't he? I know that he said he's been knocked down more than any heavyweight in history, but he once reminded me he also got up more times than anybody in history. It's a very brave battle, Harry. But you see, this is typical of what uh, Muhammad Ali is about. This is what makes him such a fascinating fighter. One minute, he's doing nothing. The next minute, he's got in, and he's turned, you know, he's turned from a pussycat into a raging bull. This is what makes him such an interesting and such a great fighter. And he can turn fights around like that. Oh, yeah. um, really... Patterson, one moment, is on top, and now he's trying to save defeat. Look at that left eye of Floyd Patterson's. It's almost completely shut. He's fighting half blind. 17,378 people here tonight, a gate of over $500,000. We're in round seven. No, no. No knockdown, a slip. See how quickly Arthur McCanny was in there. The test of a referee. Position, command of the fighters and quickness. Poor Floyd, swinging wildly with his right. Oh. Now he's punishing Floyd. Oh, that left right on that damaged eye. A warning from McKinney to both fighters. Now Ali is just using that left as he did against Jerry Quarry. The one fight in his comeback since Frazier where Ali really looked good against Jerry Quarry. Minute 45 seconds left in the seventh round. Knock him out. He can't fight with one carry. Get him out of here. He can't fight with one carry. Get him out of here. Little less than a minute and a half left. Floyd fighting with one eye now. That left flicking in like a snake's tongue. That left of Ali's. Patterson just swinging wildly. But still, Ali has not knocked Patterson down. A minute left in the seventh round. Ali's corner imploring Ali to knock him out. A right lead by Floyd, got in there, but not strongly. That right got to Patterson's eye. That left by Floyd, what used to be his best punch, the left hook got in there. The left to Ali's nose, and Patterson fights on. Less than a half, oh, now, the minute Patterson lands a blow, Ali punishes him. You don't like to see it, you really don't, that eye is bleeding again, badly. 
The doctors are going to have to look at that eye. Look at that left get in against it. It's a, just a mass of blood. The round is almost over. Round seven. The end of round seven. The doctor's going into the ring now. They've got to look at that eye. They've got to. The doctor is now consulting with Arthur McCanny, the referee. Are they going to let him come out? Are they going to? No. No, they're stopping the fight. They're stopping it for the protection of the lad himself. Being 36, 37 years old, I figured it'd be essential four or five rounds. It was just a promotion, and that was all, but it got serious at the beginning of six because I had lost about four rounds, I think. He wasn't knocked out. He wasn't really hurt. His eye was just closed. So Did he I, ever hurt you? Twice with a hard left hook, a right punch, and a body punch of all. You've got to respect his gameness. Right, and I'm glad that all the critics said what they said about him because he proved all of them wrong. Well, at least Patterson was able to go out with some professional pride, Harry, being on his feet. I'm delighted for him. I really am. I mean, it, if he's going to finish with the game now, as he should, that's the way to go out. You, your heart goes with him. It, was it not really allied vintage, was it? I don't think it was. That's what people will say anyway. When you think the advantages he had, 30 pounds in weight, much bigger man all around, I suppose it wasn't a vintage performance. On the other hand, when he saw his chance and got going, he did it very quickly. But, uh, no, I agree with you. Patterson was a very important part of fight history, and uh, that was a good way to go. Well, Ali certainly got the job done, and uh, we've got the job done too. But we'll be seeing more of Ali in our classic fight night series. So meanwhile, it's uh, good night from him. And it's good night from him.